Welcome to the Old Stream Farm, episode 9, with me, Mr. Sealy P. So, ladies and gents, where we left off from in the last episode. I've just been collecting the eggs. I've got about 17, I think, in the backpack. But we were going to finish off the power food. We were just short, I think, by a little bit. We're still not a huge amount. Oh, there we go. That should give us 16,000 litres in there. Which is pretty good. And this, hopefully, I can tip into here without spilling it all over the floor. Hopefully. There we go, right. So, let's see, what are we looking at? Sixteen thousand litres. I think we can tip from either side. Pretty sure we can. So let's get this into the cows and give them some power food. See what we'll do. So that's going to get in the way. Just disconnect that. I had a comment left the other day. <laughs> Let me know at what, what what time exactly on my video I ran over a chicken. I was going to post, you, you know, to be fair, get used to it. It's going to happen quite a lot, <laughs> I think. Um, I did try to avoid them to start off with. I'm sure they're multiplying. I know you can't buy chickens anymore on FS17, you can't. You just get what you're given, but they seem to be everywhere. It's crazy. Without hitting the wheelbarrow. I should have just opened the door at the other end and driven straight through. That would be a lot easier, wouldn't it? Okay, there we go. Let's unload. It's probably going to take all of it, I would imagine. Let's check on the cows. Well, the silage and hay is now full because it does split the power food total, total mix ration. It will split part silage hay, part power food. So I could do another load, but I've, they've got some of everything now. I need to do cleanliness. But there we go, power food done. So, all good. Right. Let's find a home for this for the time being. More chickeny death. Um, actually, I might just put it where I did before. There's nothing wrong with it over there. Stick in that little barn. Be perfectly safe in there. Excellent, right now. I'm sure they, these chickens do it on purpose now. I do need to clean out the cows. Oh, that was that was it. That was it. I just remembered. Just remembered something. I was asked about the pigs and I said in all honesty I wasn't sure and here was the question whereabouts is the water trough because this appears to be the food trough doesn't seem to be separate sections food trough this appears to be where you unload like with the bale shredder to put up there bale shredder over the side job done 
Now, when you come here, it's your... Uh, open animal dialogue box here for buying your pigs. Now, you could drive in with a trailer with straw in it and tip it here and that will fill up your straw. So where is the water trough? Don't know. It's not anywhere obvious. So there you go. If you know, let us know. I'm not too sure where it is. Unless it all goes, it just goes into here, maybe. Um, I suppose the best way to find out. Unless... No. Do you unload into that? And that acts as their water. Because there's this pipe, blue pipe running out here. Ah, oh, hang on. Ah, maybe. That could be it. They collect their water from here. So it could possibly be the fact that blue pipe runs there. You've got one here and one there. I think maybe then, because I thought that was a water fill point, but there is a water one over there. And the fact you've got the uh, arrow there, I, mean, I could be completely wrong, but it might be filled this up and then they just get their water out of those two little kind of bowl things from the side because this blue pipe definitely runs from here hose whatever you want to call it out to both of these this side that one there and that one there <coughs> that might be it i'll have to check i'll go and get the water container in a bit and we'll give that a go um but anyway that so in answer to your question i can't remember who it was that asked me um it may well be that so let's go back to our trailer I will put the grass back in storage. And I think maybe, just as an experiment, out of the way. job done. Uh, I'm actually going to go and get the water container just to check. Uh, right, off screen, I have fertilised. I seeded field four. I have also fertilised it. So that's done. Now, very quickly, have we got any in the bottom here? There we go. A little bit of slurry in there now. It is starting to build up. Not a huge amount, but there is some in there. Uh, actually, that's the other thing I want to try. I don't know if it's have any, any, it will have any effect whatsoever. The, the area here is dirty. And I don't know whether this thing is supposed to do anything or not. Especially with the gale coming. Um, right. Let's go up the side here. Give it a go. It's probably just for PC. Uh, I've lost my door. Oh, it's because I've got the barn door open, haven't I? Oh, how annoying. Right. Let's go in here. Give that a bit of a... a what do call it? Is that moving down there? It is. No. It's not cleaning the feeding area. That's weird then. What does it do? So you got me baffled. I don't know. Because there's still feed on the floor, so... It's certainly sort of a clean the feed area. Mmm. We'll just double check that.
No, food area is still dirty. Oh, it's obviously just for PC. Never mind. I will clean it out at some point. Uh, back around here without hitting my head on the uh, front loader attachment. More chickens. I'm sure they're just drawn to me. They're like mass reactive chickens. I'm not quite sure. Wherever you go, there seem to be chickens. Right, give us a bit of a top up while I'm here. Not this one, I don't think it needs very much in all honesty. Nope, not very much at all. Because as far as I'm aware, I'm not say, could be wrong, there's a tank here that's for water. So there's a bucket underneath it. So, all we have to do is give us a try then. See if symbol comes up. No. That's peculiar. Oh, it has. Right. Unload. There we go. Oh, you can actually see it. It's clear as well. So you can actually see the water in there. Ah, oh, nice. Jump over here. Oh, I'm not that you can see it there, but there is water in there. Fantastic. So if I check now on my menu, water filled up for the pigs so in answer to your question whoever it was that asked me that's where you do the water into the uh, ibc which runs on the pipe marvelous i'll just pop this over here for the minute i'm going to take it back to the cows just yet they don't need it yet either Lots of odds and ends so far. Just a few bits and bobs around the yard that needed doing. Now on to something a bit more important. Right, so where am I going? Up to the store where I've left the cases up there. Crops looking good. Okay, so. At the store. Uh, what do I need? next purchase I need um mine's gone blank baler I'm going to get one of the black sheep modding mods I'm going to get one of the single axle square balers I've used uh pretty much I haven't used a new holland one but got a new holland tractor I'm going to go with the, the fent I think it's German map why not? I'm going to go with the Fent. Select standard or attached trailer. I'm going to put attached trailer. There is no, there is no trailer mod at the moment. Uh, actually, I don't need it. Do I? There's no point until there is one. Okay. So we now have a baler. Hooray! Excellent. The fence one two one three zero N. Nice catchy name. Single axle, big baler. Brilliant. That knocking all the barrels over.
it's a pity there isn't it's really weird because on like i said before, i'm sure i said this before on pc there's the black sheep modding twin axle baler pack and with the baler pack comes the trailer that goes on the back the auto stack that hooks onto the back the fact this single axle black sheep modding baler has the same attachment option they released the pack with the four balers but not the uh not the trailer that went with it which was a bit peculiar but anyway black sheep modding map black sheep modding baler let's get out to field g7 where i did my grass cutting and wind rowing and let's make some bales it's nice coming out here not in the mist so can actually see where we're going kind of I've no idea how many bells I'm going to get out of this, but I will turn on the baler. Oh, unfold the baler would be a good idea first, wouldn't it? There we go. Rear ramp down. Turn on the baler. Lower the pickup. This will be automatic. So all I've got to do is just trundle around. See how we get on. Now, because the feed wagon will automatically change grass into hay when you put it into it, I don't need to make hay bales, which I did on law folds. And it was a complete waste of time. Not needed at all. I can just make grass bales and put them in. So, if you're in any doubt, do that a few big poles here and there I'm just going to mop up a few bits I think bow number one in the stats page it will give me a count of how many bales created in this session and overall so it's kind of like a bell counter should get a few off here I'm thinking if I do lease if I do so if I do lease if I do use the auto stack the Arcusin auto stack I'm going to lease it I'm not going to buy it very handy bit of kit Right, I shall continue and we'll see how many bales we get off the end of this. And that, as they say, is that. That's all the bales. Or sort of grass, anyway, bailed. That's not bad. I'll unload that in a minute. Just jump up in here. That's not bad at all. Right. Quick look in the old stats page. Where are we? There we go, right, it's greater bells, 17. So one more than we need for a full auto stack. That's a bit annoying, but never mind. Actually, while we're on there, what's it sound there? Missions completed, 46. So yeah, I have been busy. Um, right. Okay, let's unload this. Unload a baler. Should be a couple in there with a little bit left over oh you know what I should have done what an idiot too late now if I'd have left them in the baler or at least one in the baler I could have got 16 on the auto stack and taken one back in the baler and just unloaded it there 
didn't think of that. Schoolboy error. Never mind. Uh, right, fold baler. Lift pickup. Now, have I had another thought as well? Just a, an idea. Actually. Yeah, bear with me. I'll be back in a minute. Right, I have leased the auto stack. Oh, God. It's going to be one of those days. I just. <laughs> oh, never mind me. I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> it was a clever idea, but I forgot one major thing. You'll find out in a bit. Right, I've leased the auto stack. That wasn't what I was going to. That was, was part of what I was going to do, but not the whole thing. Like I said. Bear with me. My plan that I was whizzing off, whizzing off to do didn't work. I went and attached the, uh, which I'll show you, went and attached the rear top tow bar, the attacher, onto the back of the here. Because I thought once I'm done, if I can hook this onto the tractor and then this onto there, I can take the whole lot back, back in one go. Unfortunately, the auto stack won't hook up to here should do but it doesn't so it was worth a try anyway let's get stacking these bales on shall we There will be one left over, but there's not a lot I can do about that. Might just leave it over here actually. If I bail this field again any other time, it'll uh, it'll still be here. I shall continue and finish these off. I'm not quite sure what happened to the bale counter. I'm assuming because I said I had a couple in the in the actual baler. I've got 16 on here and there are three left. I've just checked the bale counter. It says 19. I'm sure it said 16 or uh, 17 when I checked it. But I suppose the two that were left in the baler. That's why. But anyway, uh, so it's probably going to be worth me coming back to pick up three more. The baler's still there, so I have to come back and collect that as well. So there'll be a little bit of battle some forwards, but I thought what I would do is go this way back. Just a bit of a change, you know. Mix it up a bit. More bumpy tracks and all that. Makes it more interesting, doesn't it? So if they can get a bit of a workout, all the suspension, etc. So, yeah, this should bring us back round by the top of field nine. Go straight down and to the farm, which would be quite handy. I don't catch anything. There we go. Top of field nine. I have weeded the top of field nine. I need ploughing, but I have weeded it. So it's at its first fertilising state. But anyway.
Now what I'm thinking is over the back and I'm going to have to drive all the way through. It's a little bit tight through there and there. So I'll go in the side gate. Is where I originally had, I can't remember what I had stored there. Doesn't matter what I had stored there, but go through the arch. I love this farmyard, it's brilliant. So, providing I can get it high enough, and I don't know if it will, I'm going to stick grass bales in one of these and straw in the other one. But it might not work. So, well, I might do, this seems quite high. So, unload bales, triangle. Gonna be close. Oh, yep, that's close. Okay, let's back that in if I can. Is there a lip there? Oh, come on! You gotta be kidding me! Why would that come in? Lip doesn't want to know. Oh, that's annoying. Hmm. Options, let me think. Abort unloading. What about if I drive in first and then try it? Whether I have enough room in here. Yes, okay, that'll work. Oh, it's not a particularly good angle to get in there though. Uh, right. It's taking up a lot of space, isn't it? But Okay. Oh, no bells here. So let me drive out. Oh no! <laughs> uh, I've got it wedged. <laughs> so I've lowered the uh, bale trailer down with no issues whatsoever. Of course. <clears throat> and uh, <laughs> I will... Actually, first thing I will do is just make sure this is alright. I suppose thinking about what I should have done, if I'd have moved the stack over, I could have got two stacks side by side in here. But that's not too bad. The fact I could open it up inside, it's a nice high barn this one. So I'm going to put grass bales this side, hay bales this side, silage there. Be good for making all my expression. I think it's like my shadow, wherever I go it's there. <clears throat> I'm sure chickens are up to something. They're always up to something. They're always just there, aren't they? Like pigeons and seagulls. They all do the same thing. They're all just there. <clears throat> Enough of my uh, psychotic insecurities. Right. I'm going to go back up, collect the last three bales, and bring the baler back down. Um, it's going to take a little while to do that, so you don't need to see that. Well, you could if you wanted to, but it's, yeah, it's not particularly exciting to watch. I have parked up the um, auto stack just to the side. I'm going to need it for doing um, uh, straw bales later on. There's a couple of things I want to do very quickly before I finish the episode. One is quickly come up here and show you. Now, I've been trying to organise organise the space <laughs> because we'll be building up equipment now. So trying to find homes for everything. This is a big storage space, but it's big equipment um, so yeah got a few bits tucked away up here just to show you where I'm putting things uh, oh the other thing I was going to do as well yes I remember now uh, the beehive is going to go um, because it's not making me enough money <laughs> it's not making me any money you have to have loads of them to make any money so the bee house is going
not much of a price for it when you consider it costs 20,000 to buy but it's going to take me eight it was 18 pounds an hour how long would it take me to make that 9,000 back yeah so it's a no-brainer the bee house has gone Next up. I've made grass bales, but I'm going to need to um, cut some more grass. I still haven't bought the, uh, I haven't bought a loading wagon yet, and I haven't bought a bigger trailer yet, which is something I need to do. Grass. That's all I've got. I need to cut some, put some back in storage. Half of it laying around. <laughs> and here's why. I'm going to get some more cows. And why not? So, how many have I got? Four. Let's make that up to ten. So, bought, just bought six. That will give me ten in total. Confirm. Oh, look at that already. But with that comes the penalty. The penalty being... Oh, actually, that's not looking too bad, considering I've got 10 now. Cleanliness will need sorting out. And so will power foods. I'm not sure if it will take any more grass, but anyway, that's not too bad. Although that probably needs to reset in a minute. So what we'll do... Let's whiz over to the uh, the grass trough holder, whatever you want to call it. Just make sure it doesn't need topping up. Not very much, <laughs> but it's done anyway. Right, so we've got ten cows now. Excellent. I want to see more power food. That's what I'm sorting bales and stuff out for. I wanted to get more silage on the go at some point. I've got quite a few bunker silos here at the farm, so I can get more going. And that's something I'll probably do off screen. Cutting loads of grass, get it all brought down here. So I'm definitely going to need a loading wagon. Close the thing. Right, go and pop this back because I don't need that. So like I say, uh, need a loading wagon, need a bigger trailer. Um, I need to go and look at field 15, haven't been down there yet. Need to think about sheep, need to think about starting for pigs. There's all sorts of jobs to do. Got to do a bit of tree surgery around the place because the few trees are in the way, some overhanging branches, some bits and bobs along those lines. So, there's a bit to do. So we've got some baling done to do done to today. Bought the baler. Least check in. Least the uh, auto stack. Another day on the farm. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share the video, please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. As always, thanks for watching.